Hello, I'm ABX Toy Cat, and welcome back to Seed Sunday. Seed Sunday is a weekly series I run on my channel where I show you Seed's Minecraft console that are particularly interesting and worth checking out in some way. And yes, I do know that it's not a Sunday today, and yes, I also know that there is a Desert World Nexus spawn. This is a 1 in 1000 per chunk spawn chance, so it's a pretty rare little nice coincidence, but if we turn 90 degrees to the left, we'll find something even cooler next to spawn, which is an NPC village. An NPC village, not just anyone by the way, an NPC village that contains a blacksmith chest, which is a really nice set free loot, and that's just the start of where this seed gets awesome. There also has an amazingly, uh, you know, sized Mesa Bryce biome, as well as a Guardian Temple, and all these cool things that I'll be showing you in today's video. So I'd very much appreciate a like on the video if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like the seed videos, but let's get straight into it really, shall we? So let's start with the seed, the core part of any seed video. Uh, if you're wondering, it is IBX Toy Cat 216. It'll be on screen right now if you want to type that into your thing. You'll spawn just over here, either in the Plains biome or in the Desert biome. So, uh, yeah, n nice little spawn either way, and uh, regardless of where you spawn, you'll be very, very close to this village. You know, if you're really unlucky, you might have to walk a whole 40 blocks to get here. Whoa, wouldn't that be crazy? But yeah, uh, if you do walk the amazingly long 40 blocks, you'll find a very, very bizarrely shaped village. You can see it's just five houses and there's no planters, which is a very rare little coincidence. And uh, yeah, you can see it's very bizarrely shaped, but it does have a blanket chest. And just to put you out of your misery, if you're like, oh, what's in the chest? It is very, very good stuff. So this is Xbox 360 and PS3 only. Uh, on, the, on the Xbox One, I got entirely different stuff. But in your chest, chest you hear, you can see there is two apples. You can see there is an iron chest plate. You can see there is a saddle, you can see there's an iron sword, and there's also three diamonds. And this is an amazing set of loot, because an iron chest plate is pretty nice by itself. That's like 25% damage resistance. Uh, you know, an iron sword is nice, because it gives you, you know, it just saves you going through the whole effort. But then you've also got three diamonds, which means you can just skip straight to a diamond pickaxe, which is a great little thing, just for, you know, a, a chest next to the spawn uh, that close. And also, even though this village is small, as the two things you really want in a village to save yourself some time, it has, uh, obviously, a blacksmith, and it has a library, which means you have a crafting table, just for free. And you also have a couple of, uh, uh, you know, furnaces for free, which is nice, and it means you can skip what is a kind of an essential, just repeatable, over and over again part of the game. It's all skipped of this seed, which I think is a really nice little thing. So, yeah, that is uh, the NPC Village next to spawn, but like I mentioned, that's just the start of where the seed gets awesome, because the spawn area is pretty great regardless. Even if you don't care about the desert well, which is kind of just a nice thing to look at more than anything else, it also has a nice mixture of biomes with the three really cool ones if you want to sell down. It has a plains biome, which is great for mobs, and it's generally quite flat. It has the uh, savannah biome, which is great great for mobs, uh, you know, generally reasonably flat, has acacia trees and no rain, and also has a massive desert, which although it doesn't have mobs, it does but provide massive building potential, because all you need to do is do a little bit of flattening here, you can see how flat it is already, and you've got yourself a massive build area, if that's what you like to do in Minecraft. So yeah, that's great for building yourself, but it also has some bizarre biomes that you might enjoy if that's what you're into, because to the north here, you can see there's a savannah biome, which is very bizarrely shaped, it seems to go through here, kind of across the river to over there, where it crosses over the ravine, and you know, even if it, it didn't go like get cut off by Ravina and Rilla. It'd still be a very bizarrely shaped one, but when it's like that, it's just like, okay, so there's one here, then it's one there, then it's one there. It's very, very weird to look at. And that's, uh, like I said, that's just one of the things because it's also the smallest birch forest biome I've ever seen on this seat. So birch forests are forests made entirely of birch. This one was going to be a giant one, but it got cut off by the island. So it's just a single tree <laughs> on the tiniest patch of land ever. Uh, you know, there's something kind of, uh, you know, cute and adorable about this. It's just a single birch tree. And if you like your birch wood, then don't worry, the seed's got you covered, but you will have to to plant the rest yourself. Assume you get any from that, otherwise that'd be tragic. But yeah, that's uh, that's the spawn area right here. It's a big island. Uh, you know, like a lot of seeds are now on Minecraft console, you get a big island and then everything else kind of comes after that. So, uh, what? where would you like, where else would you want to go uh, once you decide to leave this place? Because, you know, only four biomes on one island isn't necessarily the uh, the, the you know, biome diversity you're necessarily looking for. And uh, basically, you might want to head uh, ashore. So, the first thing you're going to do is head across, kind of like to the south uh, kind of east of the map, no, southwest of the map, kind of like diagonally this way. Because if you head this way, you'll find one, you know, it's kind of a nice journey, but uh, and it'll head you directly to the place you want to be going. But two, on the way, you'll actually find yourself an ocean monument. So this thing can be avoided, it can do whatever you want with. But I think this one's really interesting in particular, because if we go down here, you can see, unlike a lot of them, it's raised really high up above the ground. And uh, yeah, if you want to just head straight underneath it, you can do that too. I think this is the safest way to go through one of these things. And if that's what you will need to do, it's what you can do here. Because underneath the ocean monument is generally a safer place. You can just see there's like no guardians down here at all. Is there? Okay. Okay, there's one down there, but still, it's generally a safe place down there, maybe something recommendable, but yeah, that's that. So, 
pretty high up ocean monument uh, as far as things go but if we just uh, you know keep on heading across the ocean you'll eventually land on the Mesa Bryce biome so uh, before you get to the Bryce bit you can see there's just a nice little Mesa Island and there's something so cool about seeing from sea like oh wow it's bright orange but you know what's even cooler than seeing that seeing a giant Mesa Bryce biome so this is the biggest Mesa Bryce biome I've ever seen on the console at least so far you know out of the hundreds of seas I've checked um, because Bryce's tend to be like this tiny little part of another large biome this one is a massive Mesa Bryce that just covers the entirety of the thing. So it's worth mentioning right now there's a glitch where every now and then your Mesa Bryce will ungenerate, but try the seed a couple of times until this does probably generate because it's massive. Like, I mean, it covers the entire thing and that's really cool because this biome is really meant to just be a nice little add-on to a Mesa biome, but in this case, it covers the whole thing, which I really like because with something this rare and this kind of unstable, it's nice to just see it covering the whole thing. So if you if you want to see what the view is from the middle, just to see like how what far it covers, you can see just in every direction it's like Bryce, 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 and that's kind of cool to me. So a fun little fact while I just show you around some of the interesting things around here is that I, I recently learned why it's called a Mesa Bryce biome. because so I was like, is it called Mesa Bryce? And I looked it up and it is. It's named after the Bryce Canyon and uh, the actual things themselves are called hoodoos. So, it, you know, the, 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 these things are actually hoodoos themselves in a Mesa Bryce biome. And isn't that the best name for something? It's a Mesa hoodoo biome and uh, that sounds pretty cool. Also, uh, so yeah, there's uh, I, I showed you the, the cactus just floating on a single piece of red sand, which is kind of funny to me. Uh, but also, uh, I think one of the really cool things is up here, you can make yourself a house and have an amazing view because if you just make a ladder up to this thing, you know, you could just have a house that's balanced off the top peak, and I think that'd be amazing. So, yeah, great opportunities as far as building houses go, great opportunities as far as just views go, and also, as far as the edge of the map goes, the edge of the map actually generated as one of these hoodoos, if you will, which means you actually can't destroy these things except by using TNT, which, uh, you know, could be a shame to you, could be a not shame, but either way, uh, there's undestroyable Mesa biome, and that means something, uh, not necessarily good, but not necessarily bad, uh, that I thought was quite interesting. So, besides that, this, uh, island actually has, of course, a rather large, uh, plains biome. The plains is actually a sunflower plain, so if you like your sunflowers, you've got a lot of them with this seed. Obviously, it's kind of cut off by the ravine down there, but you can see, look how many sunflowers you've got here. If, if you haven't seen a sunflower yet, if you want to have one in survival and you have a big sunflower dream, which is a bizarre thing to have, but you can totally do that here. Also, you can see there's a ravine coming through here, and it's kind of interesting. Uh, one, one more thing of note, actually, in the Mesa Bryce biome is that just below one of the uh, peaks in here, I had some glowstone marking it, but I'm terrible at finding my own things over here. If you actually dig through the Mesa Bryce in the middle, I, you know, just kind of cut through here, uh, as you can see. If you go through the middle of the thing, so go to these corners right here. Let's drink a night vision potion to make this easier. If you go through the middle uh, at these corners, uh, if you dig down, you'll actually find yourself a spider spawner. So I know a lot of people do want these spawners because, you know, mob spawners are customizable and mob spawners are hard to find because there's no x-ray glitch. And this means if you want to find it and you want to be like, oh, I'm going to turn this into a... Uh cave spider spawner. That, that's a terrible example those exist. Uh, let's turn it, turn it into a squid spawner. Then that's something you can entirely do. So, interesting fact you might not have known. Also in the chest, in case you're curious, you do get a name tag, which is great. So, let's head out here and let's show you the rest of the seed because, you know, it's, it's great so far but it has a few more things worth mentioning. Also, we just fell into the cave. Uh, there's actually a whole cave system attached to the uh, thing and that's how I found it, by the way. Uh, but yeah, if we head out of here, boom. Uh, this is, as you can see, it's the Mesa Bryce biome. It's looking pretty swell, but what else is going on here? So, if we head to the north, uh, you can see it's a big savanna biome. I know savannah biomes are usually pretty averagely sized, so to have one that's just this uh, large and this continuous is quite nice in my opinion, but yeah, uh, that's that right there. There's a couple of ravines coming through it, which I showed you already. I, I think if you like your ravines, you're pretty happy with this seed, because I think that's three we've shown already, and that's just on the two islands, uh, you know, from here to here. There's also another few islands around the seed that might be worth checking out if you like your islands. So, there's a big kind of desert island right here. Again, I, I think Desert Islands is kind of covered by the spawn one, but in case it's not, that's kind of nice right there. And then there's also to the north, there's a kind of flattish Mesa biome, because, you know, not everyone always wants Mesa Bryce, not everyone always wants the spikes. Here you can see it's an island that looks about, I mean, almost exactly 50-50 Mesa Desert, which I think is kind of a beautiful thing. You can change it all to be Red Desert, or you can change it all to be Regular One, or, you know, you can change it to be whatever you want. I, I just think the kind of almost yin-yang of the Mesa and the Desert, that's, that's, that's a building opportunity right there. I can't tell you exactly, you know, what the opportunity can turn into, but that's that. And also, as you might uh, as you might be able to see already, uh, there's also a big cave here, which you can just follow down and down and down so as far as your heart desires, which I, I love these things because they just save you so much digging and make it feel more natural. Like, spelunking down a cave is always cooler than doing anything else. So, let's show you the final thing on this seed, which is the stronghold. Because the stronghold, even though, again, it changes from console to console now for some bizarre reason or a bug, I can't tell. 
but uh, on the 360 at the very least, which is I know where most of you play, which is then going to be copied to the PS3 and the Wii U, presumably. Basically, the stronghold is found on the starting island. So the, uh, the, the spawn of this place, I marked with the glowstone for today. Over there, you can see. And uh, just over here, a few blocks over, you'll be able to find the stronghold. So if you dig down right here, the stronghold's really cool because it's not actually that low down. Y42 is only about 20 blocks below the spawn. But, you know, besides being cool because it's not low down, first of all, if you head this way, you actually find yourself a, you know, a, one of these libraries. Libraries are pretty cool normally, but this library is very different because instead of being like a normally library where, you know, there's there's bookshelves and then behind the bookshelves, there's a stone brick like that, two of the three walls, or two of the four walls, obviously, uh, aren't actually covered in bookshelves and aren't, you know, like you can just see here, like it, it just didn't generate properly, so there's no bookshelves, there's no stone brick, there's just, uh, you know, brick here instead, which means if you want to get stuff like andesite, you can see it clearly. There's granite here too, and I think there's the other one down there. But uh, also, if you just want to see a very different uh, kind of book, uh, you know, place, this is the thing for you. Also, um, there is a chest just over here, very handy for fighting the end dragon if you're doing that straight from spawn. Because also, look, look how many silverfish there is around here. But yeah, very handy for fighting this thing if you want to do that from spawn. Because you can see in the chest here, we've got a iron helmet and we've got a sword, a second sword, to go along with that first one. And uh, yeah, as you can see, you got one thing in here. I think that varies a lot from thing thing. Just something worth mentioning and something I thought was cool. So if we head out of this place, which we'll do right now, let's just fly out there. You can see. This seed is pretty cool. Uh, the big downside is something that seems to be a common downside of all seeds in Minecraft console. You know, the big ocean. But the upsides are more than worth it. The amazing chest next to spawn. The amazing composition of this spawn island, which you really don't need to leave. And the amazing Mesa Bryce biome, in my opinion, make this seed just a sure bet if you want to experience the new update. And, exp like, you know, experience the co two coolest bits of it. Which is, you know, the ocean monument, which you've got covered here. And also an Mesa Bryce biome. The most striking biome compared to, you know, like the swamp biome or like a regular forest we had before this thing which i'll show you one more time is just so striking to the eye just just look at it it's like wow look at all these hoodoos everywhere which is totally something we need to coin and uh, yeah that's just something i thought was really cool uh, let me know what you think about the seed in the comments down below, as always. And uh, I'm still going to be looking for the free Ocean Monument seed for the future. But for now, this is everything I have to show you on IBX Toycat 216. Hopefully you did all enjoy the video. If you did like it, please do like it and let me know. It helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do like it. Share if you really liked it. And subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely day. And I'll see you all in the next video. Video.